This is just as I had planned. While I appear dead, I am actually traveling through time. Traveling by channeling the wasted energy of the rich. I have created and powered this time machine quite different from that imagined by Wells and explicit in its purpose. To remain immobile in a given time. And there are two pasts that constitute all time, the real past that lies beyond the future from the machine's point of view. The future is the normal sequence of events. The apple hangs from the tree, it will fall. The past is a reverse sequence. The apple falls from the tree. The present is null. It is the tiniest fraction of a phenomenon smaller than an atom. The actual size of the physical atom is known. It is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 8 centimeters in diameter. The past lies beyond the future because that's where we find out what happens. The future only exists by traveling through the imaginary present, thus creating all eternity. The observer who lacks this time machine sees time only stretching out through the half that he is in, in much the same way that the earth was first thought to be flat. Duration, the function of this machine, is the transformation of a succession into a reversion, i.e. the becoming of a memory. It is in time itself that bourgeois simpletons, ascendant at this moment, will be defeated and destroyed. <laughs>